What's up fellas and fellas, I'm Graham and this video is a little bit different. Still a T-Boy, the best one yet, but it's not just a straight vlog like usual. This is a collection of all the fun stuff that's happened in the past few weeks at Liberty. Not everything that happened got recorded, but here it is. Anyway, class, today... Have I ever told you guys the secrets to dating? <laughs> For my acting class, our professor was absent one day and we were supposed to be, you know, working on our scenes, but Ben decided to work on uh, imitating our professor instead. While eating supper at North one night, Daniel remembered uh, several guys in our group hadn't seen his PowerPoint presentation on a questionable topic, so he uh, got to work presenting. Since I uh, hadn't caused any trouble in our hall this year, I figured I had to end the year with at least some sort of prank on the hall leadership, the RAs. I didn't want to do anything that would be like you know hard to clean up or just seriously be annoying. So while the RAs, RSs, and CGLs were in the hall leadership meeting that Wednesday night, that you know happens every Wednesday night, I rounded up a few people to put almost every single wooden chair on the hall in the RAs room. Are you serious? Where did you get all the chairs? How many chairs did you get? I love that you're not sure about this. Hey, Joe's on you. We have more seating now. It took a few days for all the chairs to get put back, but it was worth it, and I don't think they ever figured out uh, I was the ringleader. Oh, uh, yeah, of course. <laughs> Since it was near the end of the year and several of us were coming in under budget, uh, a couple of us went to One Way Out escape rooms in Lynchburg. This is my second one, and we actually escaped with 13 minutes to spare. I think I'm gonna do something I've been wanting to do. What are you gonna do? What's something you're wanting to do? Roll down the hill. Well, seriously? Yeah, hey, I'll do it with you. I'll do it with you. I would like my thoughts to be recorded. This is stupid. They are going to regret it. <laughs> I didn't consider rolling down a hill fun, but I didn't mind filming it. <laughs> Why? So this game is a simple one. Tommy kind of came up, came up with on the spot. Make a big circle. Basically, everyone's in a circle, and whoever's in the middle has to tag the person with the ball or get the football, while people on the outside try to keep it away. Josh was uh, too good at it and impressively stayed out of the middle like the entire hour we were playing until he just got so bored he volunteered to be the person in the middle. Mississippi has the lo is the lowest of everything, including education, but we're the highest in obesity rates. That, that's where it's at. Since this John's birthday is in the summer, uh, we surprised him by taking him to a restaurant in downtown Lynchburg called The Water Dog. We had to wait a while, so we went walking uh, on this random trail for a few minutes and just walked around downtown Lynchburg. We are in Virginia, the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> It's a train! Let's go! I love trains! Act like you've seen a train before, guys. Woo! We have yeah. Yeah. Let's go! To pass, you must solve my riddles! <laughs> <laughs> what is your favorite color? <laughs> okay, I'll look it up. Fred? What is your name? John? Here in this nature documentary, we watch a cat as it stalks its prey. It comes closer to the smart car. Smart cars are weak and cannot last against. New vlog idea. All right, who wants to jump first? We're gonna I'll do it. I'll... John and Jonah and Daniel now share a secret joke that I do not want to hear. Okay, let's save the block. Keep trying. Okay, 
But once we got to the water dog, no one could have guessed what chaos Daniel was about to unleash. This one takes a lot of explaining, but hey, we have plenty of time and I'll go fast. Quick disclaimer, the Liberty Way was not broken the entire time. So at the water dog, as the waiter asked for our drink order, I got water, uh, some guys got Pepsi, some other guys also got water, but then Daniel orders a Shirley Temple, step one of his master prank. It might have ended there, but Tommy innocently asked, uh, does it have alcohol? And with the straightest face that fooled literally everyone at the table, Daniel replies, so, uh, so little alcohol that you don't even notice. That's why I don't have to have an ID for it. Tommy reacted a little bit, but I just knew Daniel was being Daniel. He, you know, had me fooled, honestly. But at that time, I was thinking, well, you know, he makes his own decisions, that's fine. Then Daniel adds in, it doesn't bother me at all, at least, you know, the first few cups. But since I'm Asian and have a weak stomach, I might I'll enjoy the little buzz I get. Everyone at the table was a little uneasy, but didn't say much about it. Daniel kept reiterating how he was just so happy to be back at his favorite restaurant because they served Shirley Temples and he just loved the feeling they gave him. Somewhere around here, uh, Tommy Googled what a Shirley Temple was. I was like, well, the internet says it's non-alcoholic, but Daniel said he must have read it wrong because, you know, there's, he, he knew his stuff. I was fooled too, but just didn't give a big reaction. And then slowly over the next 20 minutes, Daniel started slowing down just a hair. It was perfectly planned because he didn't just start acting drunk or animated. It was a very slow descent into madness. He got a second Shirley Temple much to Tommy's dismay, but then during the meal just kept ever so slowly adjusting his speech and mannerisms to where literally everyone at the table was convinced he was drunk or at least well on his way. I'm gonna have to help you get to the car, Daniel. But even still, he you know, wasn't going all out. He was keeping it subtle. It was a heated discussion over if he should drive back and then with everyone a little uneasy, but you know, we're still enjoying it. It was kind of funny watching him, but then Tommy went to the bathroom and Daniel snapped back to order. He let us all in on what he was doing, much to our relief, but he was just pranking us. But for him, the prank was just getting underway. At this point, I figured it going a little too far because we'd already discussed, you know, should we tell his hall leadership or not? But Daniel got us to all play along just to see how far we could take it with Tommy. And when the waiter came over, uh, Daniel got her in on it too so that when, uh, she would come by when Tommy was back and ask if Daniel was feeling all right before serving a fourth Shirley Temple. And when Tommy came back, everyone went for it, just playing it up. I felt a little bad for Tommy, but he was having a blast thinking Daniel was literally drunk and playing off of us, getting our reactions. <laughs> The waiter came by, the birthday John tried the Shirley Temple too, much to Tommy's shock and horror. And then Daniel starts talking about wanting the waiter's phone number. <laughs> what are you gonna do with this video? I have no idea, I can't use it anyway. <laughs> As we got ready to leave, Tommy was adamant Daniel should not ask, but he wandered his way over to the waiter and left Tommy in embarrassment as everyone else tried to contain their laughter. I told her just to write a fake, a fake number down, but I said, I was like, I mean, if you want to. But she said no. Yeah. All right, explain no. the whole ruse, how this ruse. is going. So I pretend to, so I convinced Tommy <laughs> and him that a Shirley Temple was alcoholic, just ever so slightly, and now I'm a lightweight, so I'm acting really buzzed, and like, at this point, I'm just, I didn't realize how far I actually went with it until I realized <laughs> I was having too much fun. I was drunk with the power of this, like, <laughs> this, of this deception. Um, I think you should drive behind me, and I should just weave a little bit. No, 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 Walking back was a blast too as uh, John helped Daniel along. Trippy, tri trippy thing. <laughs> you let me fall. No, I'm not letting you fall. Another one. No, 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 no. And then when we got to the two cars, uh, John got in as if he was going to drive, but when my car left first, they switched. Daniel and John switched. The look on Toby's face when we showed back up at the parking lot with Daniel driving was priceless. <laughs> you are, are you yeah, yeah, you're right. I don't, I told you, I'm just saying. You drove? <laughs> I'm, hey, sorry, 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 And I was like, do I want like do I want him in this as well? And then I realized I couldn't ask for a waitress without him by now, so I was like, whatever. <laughs>
<laughs> I'm sorry, Tommy. So, to reiterate, no one was actually drunk and no one wrote the Louis way. But once again, Daniel proved that the best birthday gift is simply his presence, as he likes to say. Thanks for watching and thank Daniel for making this video possible.